Hi guys, this video is my video of what's in my wig kit. This is my wig making kit. This is a Mary Kay bag and no, I don't sell Mary Kay. As you can see, this is a thrift store tag. I got this bag from Savers for $12.99. This is a huge, huge, huge bag. So if you haven't watched my other video that I posted, set up we're moving so excuse what you see in the background i'm sitting differently in my dad's room than the camera. so let's get to it in this bag is my unit i created with the blonde maven here she is not done yet but i did cut her into a bob and i call her my ratchet i will post a picture so you can see what ratchet looked like before i cut her and after I cut her when I'm not done styling her. So in that bag is that. Everything that's in here besides the bag came from Amazon. Um, Amazon. And the hair store. Sally's and Beauty Supply Warehouse. I got this roll of elastic. It was about $7.99. To add on to the units. I also got some Gorilla Snot and the pump to lay down my frontals, lace fronts or anything like that. I have not tried it yet because like I said, my unit, I have not finished putting her together yet. I haven't styled her yet. And I also got some Got To Be Ultra Glued. It's supposed to be good for laying your lace down as well. I tried it on the back of my hand and it does get pretty damn sticky. So, in here as well, at the dollar store, after I paid about $5 for mine, when I was twisting my brother's hair, I ran across this twist and comb at the 99 cent only store. And you can believe I was very mad. It also came with this rat tail metal rat tail clip so I got that as well this is my old feather razor from when I was in cosmetology school back in 2010 and in here are some pink and yellow plastic duck bill clips that I got from Sally's for $4.97 it's a uh, six in there and I'm using, repurposing my Maven bags to carry that stuff in. And in here is little dresser drawers. Not drawers, but um, little sections I can put it in. In here is the remaining amounts of some of the hair I had. I put them in this little bag. Just in case I want to fill my wig in or anything. And I also keep the lace that I cut off of the stocking caps because that size perfectly fits for my own head. I would never use that in a, a client's weave, not weave, but custom unit. So outside of that, then over here, I have, I am sticking the shit out of myself. In this bag is, I keep my extra wig nets hair nets to put custom units in using my two extra long sewing needles and my thread the sewing needles I got were um, $1.97 at Sally's the thread was I think $2.97 and like I said I store it in a repurposed maven bag and as well I have my brown wig caps. I bought those from Sally's. They were 86 cent. And here I also have my lenses, my fisheye lenses and stuff. See, I don't know how to use them yet, so I'm figuring that out. But my fisheye lenses are in here. Just in case I make a video or something, it's something I want to zoom in on. I carry that as well. 
another Maven repurpose bag. In here I have, like I said, more lace from off of a cap that I cut. And I have about six of these uh, brown threads because when you want blonde hair, since Maven sells blonde hair, if I'm making a custom unit, I have plenty of that. And they were 59 cent in the reduce. And because I bought six of them, they ended up being 33 cents a piece. Then, at first, I bought out freaking needles. At first, I bought a styrofoam head because I did not think I was going to have the money to buy a wig block. And I bought these wig pans, T pans, from Amazon because at the time I could not get to Walmart to get any. These cost me uh, $5 or something. The wig head cost me uh, $3.99 at the Beauty Supply Warehouse here in Las Vegas. I don't know if you guys have it. And I just took my kids chalk markers and just drew her some stuff because she was looking a little extra ratchet with nothing on. And as you can see, her head is not straight, which is something I had an issue with. But she's still good for displaying your wig on while you're out and about. And I purchased my wig block. Finally, she is a size 22. I purchased her from off of Amazon. And um, she cost me about 20, $25. And I'm a Prime member, so my shipping is free. I got a loose pin in here. I also have a uh, wig um, tripod that is pretty tall. I can use it if I'm sitting down or whatever. Um, I think that one was what cost me 20 something dollars as well. And my wig block was 30 something. But either way it goes. Uh, I got my mom's little flat iron. I'm not going to show this because this is not mine. I'm just borrowing it. And in here is my other unit that I made with the frontal. Like I said, because frontals is something that I made the first time. My frontal is in here. And I still have to style her up some before I display her on what uh, she really looks like in the video. But I will post what she looks like from the time I originally made it. And in the bottom of the bag is some pieces of the frontal that I'm going to keep. Because I saw a video that Pink Milk did that she used the leftover lace from her frontal in the middle of a regular full wig. And it made it look like it had her scalp in the front. So I'm going to do that. I also forgot to stab my hand up here one more time. But I also bought the tape measure. It was pink. I got this from... Um, Amazon, it's like two bucks or whatever. I have one at home, but because, like I said, I'm not at home and I don't feel like going to go get that lazy, right? And this is where most of my goodies came from. Like I said, these were my wig caps, these were the kinds that I had purchased. I was looking for dark brown because I'm a little darker than that, and it makes my skin, it makes my scalp look real bright, but. It does the job for right now. Um, while I was in Sally's, I ended up running across these U-Part wig caps. Which I'm going to be making some wig caps. Some custom units and I will be selling these. I pay for $4.99. This is a side part wig cap. And they also had the front part U-Part. And they were all reduced, so I'm guessing they're not selling them anymore because they probably didn't do too good. And I bought three of these dome caps. I bought one from another brand, but I can't remember the name. But I bought two from Proclaim. And I got these from Beauty Supply Warehouse. They were um, $2.49 or $2.99. The one that I bought from Sally's was um, $3.49. And I ended up going on Sam's Beauty, and Sam's Beauty had a sale. Which I'm waiting on that stuff. It should be coming tomorrow. But um, Sam's Beauty had a sale and I bought six more of those. And I bought some other stuff as well. Like some more hair scissors. Hair cutting shears and some other stuff. So I'm going to be doing as many videos as I can. 
And like I said, here is my wig making kit. My wig making kit cost me about uh, 150 something dollars. And that's because I bought my wig block. And most people already have one. And I got the tripod. And I got majority of the stuff that I need, I do have. So that's out the way. Um, I'm going to have three more wigs I'm going to be making pretty soon. Which is curly hair. I'm deciding on if I'm going to custom unit all six of them. Or if I'm just going to keep one for me. But we'll figure that out real soon. Um, other than that, you guys, thanks for staying tuned. And if you have not seen my giveaway video, please go watch that. The, um, the directions for the giveaway is in the description bar of that video. And you have to be a subscriber. Live in the U.S. Be 18 unless you have your parents' consent to give me your address to send said stuff to. And... It'll show you what's all in this bag just because this bag is small. It's a lot of stuff up in here. So, you guys have a great day. I got to get my ass up off this camera because my kids is up in the room with my brother. And my little bitty baby is asleep. And I'm so excited that we're moving. I got to get my own shit packed up. So, I will see you guys another time, which will be sometime real soon. So, don't miss me too much. See you guys. You guys. Bye.